Why do I always forget to turn off the phone? So after doing some honing, I even used off camera, I used a finer hone stone, small. I am now going to clean it off with some acetone. Then we're gonna grab the tooling plate, lay it on there, see where we're at. One thing I recognize, I don't know if you guys recognize, I always start off with the best of intentions with rubber gloves on to keep my hands free of the harsh chemicals and all the crap that we're dealing with. And then for no reason at all, I don't know if it's, I just don't feel like I have the, the feel that I need or I don't know what, what it is, but literally I start out and then 10 minutes into the project, the gloves are off and my hands end up looking like insanity and I'm probably soaking up all the harsh chemicals right into my bloodstream. There's one thing I feel right there. I feel like I do, but the hone didn't. It must be sunken. Like my finger feels the, feels it. But there are some divots here, so I'm assuming I'm feeling the divots and it's not raised. As long as it's not raised, we're in good, in a good position. So I'm psyched about that. Yeah, I'm just feeling the divots, I guess. It's, you know, 60 years of people dropping stuff on this thing. All right, let's give a shot at grabbing that plate. Perfect. Love it. Oh my God, I'm so excited. I don't think you guys understand how long I've been waiting for something like this. Anyway, the goal is to do the goal is to uh, face the MDF that I have on the CNC machine right now. I'm going to mill this to have God, I don't even know. I think 50 holes or so, um, which should be great for mounting things. Uh, this will hold the, I can mount the vise on here. I can mount almost every plate that I use on here. The one thing that I'm gonna have to do is probably get another plate, another tooling plate um, that I do a little bit simpler, um, which will actually be for the vacuum plate. The vacuum plate could go on here by itself actually. So I gotta figure that out. I don't know, I might actually make mounting holes for a plate like this, which will actually be done with toe clamps or something. Um, and the vacuum plate is quite long. So uh, that would probably be its own mounting holes. But other than that, it's looking good. All right, so I'm just using this as a straight edge across to figure out how big of a bolt I will need, how big of bolts I should say I will need. They are five sixteenths and the distance from the steel plate to this, because this, this, this will rest on, the, the outsides will rest on the steel plate. So what I'm gonna do is sort of scrape that a bit, because this normally wouldn't have sat on any part that would have made it slightly off. So if this casting is funky, that's gonna be a factor. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually make some spacers to make it appropriate height so that they, the spacers sit flush on the steel plate. 
the bolts will come up through the steel plate, through the spacers to hit here. So we'll get an exact measurement on this and then we'll figure out what kind of spacers we need. And then I will be able to level it with some shims. Once this is scraped, I should be able to level it with some shims that I have to make it as close to perfect as possible. Then obviously the uh, tooling plate can always be surfaced, uh, faced off to be uh, square with the machine itself. So, should be pretty good. <laughs>